Hey guys, uh, this will be a small demo on how to call the Razor Pay X APIs to create payouts. Basically, to create a payout, uh, you'll need the following details. One is the contact details of your customer, that is the person to whom you want to transfer the money. Apart from that, you'll also need their bank account details. So let's walk through all the APIs one by one. So the first step in creating a payout is a contact. That is, you'll have to create a contact. So like I said, contact will be the details of your customer to whom you want to send the payout to. So the URL or the endpoint will be api.razorpay.com slash v1 slash contacts and the request type will be a post request. So I have set the request type as post and I have already added the URL and the authorization type will always be a basic auth. The username will be a razor pay key and the secret will be the password. We'll navigate to body. The body type will be raw and the text type will be JSON. So let's just copy the details present here. We'll make a little modification. So I'll just, you know, do a send. If I hit on send, you'll see that a contact got created. So this is the first step. Talking about the API, you'll see that it contains the name, email, contact detail and type. This type is a uh, this type is for your reference. It can be a type employee, it can be a type vendor, it can be a type customer. You can add it as per your wish. And then you also have the options of sending reference ID and notes. So what this is, is th this is just a unique identifier for you. So you know you can uh, add parameters which is required for you or you can easily identify this contact. Cool. After the contact is done, the second step is you'll have to link bank accounts to that contact. So here we call it as creating a fund account. You have the option of creating fund account of type uh, VPA or bank account or credit card. We just uh, have a look when the type is a bank account. So the URL will be api.razorpay.com slash v1 slash fund accounts. Again, the body type will be post. And talking about the API parameters that has to be sent, you'll see a contact ID present. So this contact ID will be the contact that you created from the previous step and you'll be adding it over here. And apart from that, you'll be sending the account type, which is a bank account in this case. In that, you'll be sending details such as name of the account holder, the IFSC code, and the account number. So let's just copy all of this. Again, here as well, the request is a post request. So I'm copying the contact that I created previously. I'll set the authorization. So let me hit on send. So if you see, for this contact and with this bank account details, I got a fund account. So whenever you want to create a payout, this is the fund account that you have to be using. And you also have the option of sending, uh, you know, for a single contact, you can have multiple bank accounts. Let's say he, he wants, he chooses a different bank or a different account. We'll just replace the account details and we'll make another request. In this case, a new fund account gets created. So this is about fund accounts. Similarly, you can create the fund accounts for type VPA as well. So in the request, you'll see that the account type will be VPA. You'll have to add the contact ID and you'll add the VPA address of that person.
here as well the response you will get a fund account id let's try this out as well So if you see in this case as well a new fund account is created so what happens is for a contact can have multiple fund accounts when you are creating the payouts you can choose to which fund accounts that payout has to go to so the final api that has to be called is the payout api slash payout api this is the api where you will actually transfer the funds from your RazorPayX virtual account or current account to your customer's account. And in this case, the customer's account can be a bank account or it can be a VPA or it can be a credit card. So the endpoint will be api.razorpay.com slash v1 slash payouts. These are the details that has to be sent in the ABI call. So the first will be the account number. This account number will be your RazorPayX virtual account number or current account number. And then you'll also send us the fund account ID. So this, when you say, uh, send us this fund account ID, we will know to which account the money has to be credited to. And then you have the option of sending the, then the amount has to be sent. This amount will always be in Paysay. So let's say you set the amount as 100, 100 paise is equal to 1 rupee. So that is how it works. The currency will be INR. The mode will be IMPS, NEFT, RTGS or UPI based on the type of fund account or your choice. It will be your choice basically. And then you have some pur the purpose. This purpose can be a refund, salary, etc. You also have the option of sending a parameter Q if flow balance. So what happens is if you send this with the value set to true, let's assume right now there is insufficient balance in your Razorpay X account. So what we will do is we will queue the payout till there is sufficient balance in your account. And once there is sufficient balance, it will be processed. Let's assume a case where do you do not send this. What we will do is, in that case, the API request will fail and we'll give you a response uh, telling that, you know, there's insufficient balance in your account. And then you have the option of sending reference, narration and notes. This is for your internal uh, purpose or just for, you know, easier reconciliation or tracking at your end. So let's try making this API call. This is the endpoint. Let me add the API key and see here. Okay. Okay. So the first thing is I'll have to replace this account number from the from with the account number with my Razorpay X account number. Let me just go to my dashboard. So this will be my Razorpay X account number. Also, I'll have to add the fund account. So previously, I, cre I had created a fund account. Let me just use that. So this fund account is a type VPA because I had created a fund account of type VPA. So in this case, the mode will be UPI. Apart from that, these are the other parameters. Let me just hit on send. Mm, it is giving me an error message. Let, let me just check this. So this was missed in the beginning. Yes. Now the request should go through. 
let me just replace my account number since this is a wrong account number i'm getting this since right now i'm using my test mode api key and secret i have to use my test mode account number so let me just copy this So if you see a payout has been created and the process status will always be processing. So this will be the initial API response. Now apart from this you also have the option of something called as a composite API. So let's assume a scenario where you do not want to go through the hassle of creating a contact then creating a fund account and then making a payout. In that scenario you can use the composite API. If you see the composite API the endpoint will be the same and apart from that you'll see there's something called as a contact this contact is similar to a single contact which you create also you'll send the fund account which is similar to uh, the fund account which you had created and the payout detail so basically what this composite api does is it takes all the parameters that is required to create a payout in a single api request and then create that payout so let's try this out so this will be the endpoint the endpoint will remain same so right now my i'm using my test mode api key and secret accordingly i'll change the account number as well So if you see this, uh, the parameters present here are very similar. Instead of calling it individually, you're just clubbing everything into one API call. That's all. So here, let me just change my account number. Now I'll hit on send. So if you see here as well, a payout is created along with the payout, a fund account is also created, a contact is also created. So all in all, what has happened is all the parameters required is just clubbed into a single API call. Thank you.